We are in the ABC 7 Alert Center with breaking news. The lawyers of the federally convicted Walmart shooter are looking to dismiss the charges or remove the death penalty on the state case after alleging prosecutorial misconduct and rights violations of the defendant since 2020. This just days before a scheduled hearing this week in the case. ABC 7's Tony Gutierrez joins us live in studio with the details. Tony. Stephanie, the defense team for Patrick Crucius alleges improper witness contact, ongoing violations of a court imposed gag order, suppression of exculpatory evidence, and more. In new documents filed today that ABC 7 has obtained, 26 year old Crucius was charged by the state of Texas with capital murder and aggravated assault for the 2019 August 3rd mass shooting where 23 people were killed. The motion also asked 409th District Judge Sam Medrano to allow Crucius' defense to find evidence held by prosecutors that would give information on the alleged misconduct. ABC 7 News partner El Paso Matters reports that the motion made by Crucius Defense alleges that the case has been filled with misconduct from El Paso District Attorney's Office. The majority of the allegations are against former District Attorney Yvonne Rosales. Some of the alleged misconduct claims happened during the administration of former DA Jaime Esparza and current DA Bill Hicks. Among other alleged allegations included in the motion are deceptive evidence sharing practices and violating Crucius's right to confidential attorney client communication. El Paso Matters reports that prosecutors have not responded to this motion in court. Crucius is expected to appear in a state court this Thursday for the first time since October of 2019. AB7 will have video from the courtroom of the hearing. Reporting live in studio, Tony Gutierrez, ABC7. All right, thank you, Tony.